Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I'm here at NAB right now and I'm checking out mainly camera gear, but I did see the Asus booth. I've been kind of in this endless search of trying to buy like the perfect monitor that not only looks good, but is also functional. And I would love to get into an OLED monitor and that's what this is here. This is the ProArt Display OLED PA32 UCDM. That was the first time and I got it, nailed it. You may be familiar with Asus, but maybe not familiar with the ProArt line. This is their line of monitors that is specifically geared towards professionals in the creative space. But this is a 32 inch OLED monitor that's 240 Hertz, which is crazy because I feel like everything in the monitor world, if it's not a gaming monitor, is always like 60 Hertz and that's all you get. Let me give you a quick rundown of the specs on the monitor. It's a 32 inch 4K QD OLED panel. They mark it up to a thousand nits of peak brightness, which honestly is really good for any computer monitor. 10-bit color depth and quantum dot technology, which provides 100% sRGB, 99% DCI P3, and BT 2020 color gamut. It also has hardware calibration, which is very important for a professional monitor like this. And it's also an HDR monitor, so you have format support for Dolby Vision, HLG, and HDR10. And to top it all off, we have Thunderbolt 4 connectivity that provides 96 watts of power delivery. You can also daisy chain it with the HDMI 2.1. Look at the back of that monitor. Look how nice that is. Now, if you're new to the channel, you wouldn't be familiar with my desk setups, but if you've seen my videos, you've seen that I'm trying to get like a monitor that also looks nice on the back, which is hard to find. It's hard to find something that looks good, is actually functional, but is not a gaming monitor. So why does it even matter what hertz your monitor is? Well, if you're in the gaming world, you know all about the refresh rates of a monitor. You know that the higher the refresh rate, the more like realistic a game's gonna look. When you're doing high frame rate stuff, you're gonna be able to see you know less of the drag when fast motion is on screen. I mean, if you're gaming at high refresh rates, that's ideal. If you're video editing, you're probably not going to get as much um, use out of those higher frame rates unless you're like editing a bunch of high frame rate content. But I think it's great. They're probably going to be marketing this to graphic designers, 3D modeling, things where the high refresh rate and the high frame rate world exists. OLED, let's talk about OLED. Why is it important? Most computer monitors that you buy, unless it's a gaming monitor, again, are not going to be OLED. It's usually, the most common would be an IPS monitor, which is like 1200 to one contrast ratio, which is decent. It's gonna handle pretty much everything for the most part of what you would be using it for. But what OLED does, this is gonna be a million to one contrast ratio. All of the black portions and shadow areas of your image are going to be what they call true black. They're gonna be much darker than a traditional monitor and everything is just overall gonna look much more vibrant. That's why the appeal of OLED panels for TV is such a big thing because when you're watching movies and television, you can really experience kind of how it was shot and how it's intended to be seen. This, I believe, I'll have to check and I'll put it on the screen, but I believe is under $2,000 if I'm not mistaken, which honestly is an insane kind of entry into the OLED world on the monitor side. Very excited about this monitor. Again, I was seeing this monitor online before I got to see it in person and it's impressive to see it in person. I could see this definitely fitting into my workflow in the future, but I'm gonna end the video right here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, say hello in the comments and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'll see you all in the next video.